Hello everybody, my name is Thor Young, I'm a moderator with Bear Bull Traders, and I would like to do a recap on my trades for you today. Now, more importantly than my recap today, I want to talk to y'all a little bit about an issue that we had uh, today with our platforms and why we need to be paying attention to this kind of stuff to, for your risk management. In the process, I'm going to show you a little trick for making sure that everything um, is all put together. Now, first off, um, before we get started, if you don't mind, throw me a like, I appreciate that. Ring that bell, subscribe to the channel. Um, now, on to the trade. So, as you can see here, um, I'm in this absolutely perfect um, S4 breakdown on NEO. Um, let me let me uh, pop in here to my one minute. Um, you can see here I shorted after it rejected S4. I went short at the top. Now, we had an issue come out on our DOS program today, and basically our quotes got delayed. So our executions were actually fine. Our speed was fine, but because the quotes were delayed, our charts were reading, in some instances, up to a minute to two minutes late. So this can be very, very difficult, um, if not impossible, to trade during. And for most traders, I would actually recommend here that you do not trade. If your platform is having an issue, you don't have the ability to get in precisely when you want or get out, most importantly, precisely when you want, your platform's going to have a significant um, a impact. Um, we, you could have, um, you know, you could blow up your account, for instance, not being able to get out of a position properly when you thought you're going to when quotes are delayed market orders all these things don't execute properly so you need to really make sure you're paying attention to this now with one way that you can really do this and i'm going to highlight over here on my neo trade if you can notice here on my time and sales i'm going to drag my um time and sales out here and you can add the time field which i generically have on i have another window that i use for my one minute executions i normally run this as a five minute chart and on that one, I have this spread apart because that's where I look at the time the most. But I want you to notice on my market clock down um, down here, and let me just drag it right up. I want you to notice that on my market clock, it says 1, 24, 22, 10, 23. And look up here, 10, 22, 54, right? So we're delayed right now, right? Almost 15 to 20 seconds from, from execution, right? This is incredibly important to pay attention to. Right, right now our prints are coming in at 10.23.05, but the market clock says it's 10.23.24, right? So we're actually delayed still about 20 seconds. So this is very, very important when you're trading and you're managing your risk. And I wanted to give you this tip so that you know exactly when your platform is performing. If slippage is going to be a big factor, and for day traders, slippage is one of the most important factors in your risk management, this can really, really hurt you, right? So wanted to go ahead and show you that. I did have a good trade on NEO, like I said. I'm looking for a bigger move down to like 2352, but this is the tip that I wanted to give you guys today. Make sure that when you're trading that you have your time and that your time and your market clock are synced right that way you know that you're taking trades and your trades are getting filled quickly and accurately i hope that was helpful for everybody i hope you all have a great day and as always keep it green thanks